Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a great day. So today I will be showing you guys how to do the LumaFade transitions. I'll be showing you guys two ways on how to do it. So the first one is a free plugin that I got from a blogger. It's called Alex4D and in his blog he actually gives away a free LumaFade uh, file that you can install in your effects folder. And then the second way I'll be showing you guys is just using the Luma Keyer. Okay, so I have my clips sorted out. Uh, all the clips that I want to do the Luma Fade transitions on. And so to do the first way uh, using the Alex4D uh, Luma Fade plugin, it is in the effects inspector window um, and it should be under custom and it should show up in your Final Cut Pro as Alex4D Luma. So I want to use it on this first clip here. So what I want to do is I want to the transition to begin right here and so I want to press B to cut and then I just want to cut the end of that clip there and then I want to apply the Alex4D Luma and so I just drag it into the end of the clip there and there's really no change to it and it shows up in the inspector window um, on, on the right side here as Alex4D Luma and it has upper limit, upper smooth, lower limit and lower smooth so it gives you more flexibility on how you want to do the fade which is pretty cool I want to have the transition begin here um, and so what I do, what I want to do, is push upper limit, upper smooth, and I just wanted the top here to fade out into the next scene here. Um, it just looks really cool to me. But if you guys want, you can also do the low limit or lower smooth. Just play around with it. It depends on what you like, really. And so I want it to begin here. So I added a keyframe. And then I want it to add a keyframe there, and then you go to the end of the clip here. And then this is where you add another keyframe. And I'm just going to drag the upper limit to the left all the way to zero. And I want to add, do upper smooth and drag it to the left as well. And so that's what it looks like. So if you want to play it back, um, this is what the Luma Fade using the plugin will look like. So it looks like that. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a slower fade. You can definitely adjust the speed on however you like it. Um, just using the keyframe. Um, again, it depends on what you like. And so the second way I'll be showing you guys how to do the Luma Fade is just using the Luma here and so I want the transition or the Luma to begin right here I'm just gonna cut again and then you go to keying you drag the Luma here into this clip here and then you guys can see that there's you know it's kinda see the two clips blended in and so what I want to do is I want to add a keyframe in the beginning of the clip here so add a keyframe and I just want to drag the white slider to the left so there's no changes or anything and then you want to go to the end of the clip again and then you add another keyframe and this is where I want um, you can add it depends on however you like it, but I just want the whites to go away first, and so I just drag the left here, the left slider, to the left. Or, if you want to do the blacks to go first, then just add that. But I like the whites to go first, just because it adds like a cool effect to it. So you just drag the, the white slider to the left there, 
and then you drag the bottom slider and it blends into the next next clip. So this is what it looks like. So looks pretty cool. Uh, you can adjust the you can smooth it out too. You can soften the the fade a little bit. Um, I'll soften it just a little bit like that. So what you can do next is add an adjustment layer. So you go here, you go to the title and the adjustment layer. If you guys have it, um, it should be in the customs folder and you just drag it on here onto the top on top of the clips and then after that you go to the effects again um, you can add a uh, type in you can add a letterbox to it so type in letterbox and then you just drag it onto the adjustment layer and then you go to aspect ratio and you have it 235 um, you can do some color grading on it. Uh, if you wanted to, you can add a LUT. I use M LUT by Motion FX. So you just drag it on there. Load a custom LUT. Uh, I'm just gonna use this one here. And then that's it. And then adjust into the intensity, etc. Thank you for watching. I really hope you guys find it helpful uh, and see you in the next video.